Okay, so moving on to the next card now. This is um, the one with the iridescent shimmer to it, which I'm hoping that you can see. And I'm going to be putting uh, tree stamps onto this one just simply because it reminds me of a forest scene and I think it would lend itself well to uh, forest and trees. So, okay, we're going to be using the Versifying Claire in these. So we've got Sandy Lake, Acorn, Fallen Leaves, and of course we're going to be using our Nocturne Black. So keeping it all very earthy colours on this particular one. Starting with... This is our celestial tree and then I'm going to ink up in the acorn brown and I'm just going to pop a few of these around again just leaving the stamp on the card just for a while just to soak into the card like so and we're going to now ink up in Shady Lane so we're just putting a variety of colour onto the card so we'll just pop one over here and then taking one of our smaller trees inking up in fallen leaves and just pop a couple of those around as well going to stamp off there, put one in the distance I'm going to go back to this one, ink up stamp off So you're just getting a various various different heights coming through. And some in the foreground, some in the background, just giving it depth. Okay, so now taking one of our larger celestial trees. Placing that on our block, and this time I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. Place that down, give that a good press. And again, put one just on the edge here. Like so. And then moving on to the larger tree here. I'm actually going to bring in another colour now. This is Warm Breeze. I 
I think it will work quite well just simply because if you look within the green of the brushes there's definitely blue here so it will pick that up really nicely and colour definitely gives your work depth I must say this is one of my favourite colours out of the whole range it's a beautiful turquoise look at that, that's fab I've got to be careful not to overdo it Just one more. There we go. Okay, so we could add a moon somewhere. Let's put one here in the corner. And then using a smoothie and just picking up a little bit of this warm breeze taking it off and then we'll just go around the edge from the centre out And this will just give it a really nice sort of moody atmosphere. There we go. I mean, how quick and easy is that? And so effective. I'm going to add a little bit more around the edge just to frame it, pull your eye in to the middle these VersaFine Claire's they just blend so well I tend to use these all the time now for blending But, you know, if you've got other ink pads, other colours, then do give those a go. There we go. Okay, so I was going to put some words onto this, but do you know what? I don't think it needs it, so... But I will use the jelly roll pen with the, the little bit of glitter in just to go around the edge of the moon here. I think a bit of sparkle on this will uh, be perfect. And you can just see that, that shimmer. And I might even put a little bit of glitter over the top as well. So liquid pearls. Just squeeze until you find it starts coming out. Keep that pressure on and then just move your hand to put the dots on. This is a way to get some fabulous tiny, tiny dots.
we don't actually need too much because uh, we've got a lot of glitter and sparkle going on already <clears throat> but this is our coarse glitter now that's going over the top which you can see is just a really lovely holographic glitter so just tap that off and you can see how it just gives you just an amazing sparkle Put that against your white background and you can see how that stands out. Another fabulous card that's just so quick and easy to make. <laughs> 